y'all. Tonight we are talking about the perfect small space bathroom design. But before we get to that, I just kind of wanted to give you a life update. Um, we have had the flu passing through our house. Joey went to Vegas to the International Builders Show. Some of you guys might have been there. And he brought home the flu. Y'all, what happens in Vegas is supposed to stay in Vegas, and it did not. It came home with him. He gave the flu to Sunny, and so we are just now feeling a little bit healthier. So I went from a week without him in Vegas to a week with him here, but he was down and out, um, and so it's been a crazy couple of weeks. We also have a lot of, a lot of exciting new projects happening over at Kimbalist Designs, and so there's just been a lot going on, but I feel good. This weekend, we are going to Houston, and I'm going to be speaking uh, two days at a women's retreat for a church, and I'm super excited about that. We are talking about um, how you can, <laughs> Sunny's got my mic, um, how you can just your, take your walk in faith and keep it about your story and let, let God use your story no matter what's happened. And the title of my presentation is called, It's a Faith Trail, Not a Fairy Tale. So after I give that presentation, I'm going to share it with you guys in case you want to see it. It's, it's, it's especially for women, but honestly, it's for anybody. And so I'm just excited to be able to use my story, my testimony, the things that have happened um, to encourage other people. So there you go. I also just did... Um, Yesterday, I did an online thing with, um, we shot an online Bible study session, oh dear, with Jamie Ivey. Jamie Ivey, you guys, if you don't follow her, she's an incredible warrior of a, a Christian, like female, just entrepreneur, and then also just loves, loves Jesus. Okay, my kids, I don't have much more time, so let's get to this. We've got Bear on the bed, and Sunny's entertained right now by things that are in the nightstand that I haven't looked at in a year. Anyway, let's go into the bathroom. So this, y'all, to me, I designed this three years ago. This bathroom is the perfect small space bathroom. Why? Why do you ask? Here we go. First off, it's the size. The size of this bathroom is eight foot deep by 75 inches wide. Now that's just over six foot. So six foot by eight is generally speaking. Now this is a perfect architectural floor plan for a small size bathroom. Everything you need is in this bathroom. Joey and I lived in here for two and a half years. Everything you need is in here. Why is that? Let's go. So let's talk about the vanity. This is a two foot wide vanity. It's all you need. You have storage under here. What I love about this particular vanity from Kohler is that the countertop flows into the sink. Now, it made it really easy to clean. There's no crevices here that, you know, when you're shaving, things get trapped. Um, so I love this vanity top. Now, girls out there, when you're talking about getting ready in the bathroom, what's the number one thing you need in a design? Natural light. To put on makeup, we need natural light and or indirect lighting on our face to get ready in the mornings. And so this mirror I found to be like the perfect solution for a bathroom. Hi, Joey, um, for a bathroom. And this is also from Kohler, but the indirect lighting across the mirror and, and the built-in lighting, integrated lighting is a perfect solution for putting on your makeup in the mornings. Um, and then you obviously, now we've moved out, so this is empty now, but this is a perfect medicine cabinet. It has this mirror that folds out. And if you're anything like me and you're teeny tiny, you have to, pull it down to be able to see, or if you're Joey and you're way up here, I just think this is so great. You also have an integrated plug for um, curling your hair and things like that. So this medicine cabinet combined with this vanity was honestly all the storage that we ever needed. The other thing that is so great about this bathroom design is we have multiple different points of lighting, different types of lighting. I am a big lighting girl. If you've not seen my video about lighting design, go there, and then I'm gonna also keep content coming about lighting. When I worked on Extreme Makeover, people would come in and say, the, the lighting in here feels really theatrical. And the reason for that is, lighting creates ambience, it creates a mood, and in the bathroom, at the, you've got to be able to create different moods in the bathroom for different times of the day. In the morning, I need energy and I'm getting uh, ready for the day, and so I need the indirect lighting to put makeup on. Now, if it's the nighttime and you love baths like me, I am a bathtub girl. I take baths all the time. Then I don't want this on. I want this off, and I want some mood lighting in here. Y'all, this Edison bulb over the vanity, perfect mood light. 
Um, we've seen Edison bulbs for years. They come, you know, the trend has been hot for a long time. But what I do love about this is that it creates a warm yeah. glow in this bathroom. Hi, Sunny. And when I took baths in here, I used this little stand and put a candle here. And this is a perfect spot for my book or my glass of wine or my soap. So creating moods with lighting is really key. So this seems like overkill, but I've got a vanity light. I've got integrated mirror light. I've got cans, let's turn that off. I've got cans on the ceiling over just the shower. And um, is that everything? That's everything, but the integrated light, oh, and nope, that's not everything. And I've got this Bluetooth, uh, well, they, they call it a fart fan, but this was like one of those fancy um, fart fans. And it has a built-in light. Sunny likes it, Sunny likes it. But, and it also, what I love about this, it has built-in music. Hear that Bluetooth? So I love the fact that there's built-in Bluetooth in this bathroom. It is a high-tech bathroom for me. I am not a very technological savvy person, but the Bluetooth feature was beautiful when I was in the bathtub. I could play music, I loved it. And so the lighting is, there's a lot of different options in this room for lighting and creating different moods. So that is not just like such an important thing in your bathroom. So moving on, um, when we're talking about the architectural space of a bathroom, you've got to leave at least three feet between your vanity and your tub. And that is the perfect little pocket to put a toilet. You don't need anything more than 36 inches between that. And for small spaces, you're not gonna get anything more than that. So this is our minimum here for an architectural standard. 36 inches is a minimum, we're there. Um, now moving on to the bathtub, you might be seeing behind me. This is absolutely 100% my dream bathtub. It's a claw foot. It's cast iron, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's two-tone. You've got black on the outside, white on the inside. I cannot even tell you like how many times I took baths in here and I still do. I love this. And you might be thinking like, why? how in the world does she get a, a claw foot in a tiny house? Well, I've got this footprint of six by eight and that's everything you need. Um, one of the like secrets that I wanna tell you, um, if you're picking faucets for a bathtub, this is just kind of something I learned. And one of the best ways to learn as a designer is to use the products yourself. So when you're in here, guess what? If I'm in here and I wanna turn on the faucet or make it warmer or colder because I'm in here, I don't even have to reach, y'all. I literally would take my toes and turn. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna get flooded with water but I can take my toes and turn this because I used the pinwheel faucets. Awesome, literally it made it so easy. Now if I just had the little handles, it would've made it harder to do that. So this is kind of one of those little secrets that I loved as I you know, would take baths in here. It makes it easy to change the temperature of the water. I gotta be honest, y'all, I'm tired. Like mama, mama is tired over here. For some reason, any of you moms out there, I feel like mothers are like protected in this bubble when everybody in the family gets sick. And especially I'm nursing Bear right now, so I, I um, it's cool how moms are like protected. Moving on, so the Clawfoot tub is perfection. We also added a rain shower. Now, the rain shower is kind of something that Joey actually really loved, and that is such a beautiful, nice little feature. Um, it's like a gravity pull situation, so the water literally just sort of sprinkles on your head. Now, if you're drawing your bathroom from scratch in your building, or if you have the opportunity to renovate, I highly recommend getting a window in your bathroom. Even if it's a transom, this, y'all, allows natural light into the space, which we talked about a second ago. It's very important for putting on makeup and just getting up and at them at the start of your day. So get yourself a window if you can. What I also love about what we did is on this wall, we made, the, we made the wall thicker. So I've got a built-in window ledge here, which enables me to put shampoo, plants, you know, all my soaps up here, so I don't have to have any kind of niches or additional um, shelving here for um, products. So this actually is, serves, serves a purpose um, for light and as a functional shelf. Now I'm gonna, yes, would you like this clip? Thank you, love. Okay, I also have a robe hook, so the little details. I think in a bathroom design, y'all, the hardware is really important. The hardware is like the jewelry. 
Splurge a little bit and get yourself a nice toilet paper holder, a robe hook. There's so many cool like companies out there now that do really thoughtful, intentional, very cool designs for things like your toilet paper holder, your robe hook. I would say spend a little extra and get some something more interesting than just your like off the shelf big box store hardware. This will make the details of your bathroom just come together. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to say about this bathroom design, but there's one more thing and I think it's honestly the most important. For me, design is such a personal thing and especially in a bathroom where you're like sharing space um, with your family, maybe your husband or your children. Um, look down below here. Oh, there's my pen. Um, this Rise Up is a personal message that I put in the tile of our floor. The story behind this is Joey and I on our third date, um, we were talking, we were still going through the questions of like, what kind of music do you like and things like that. And we both, when, he, when we said, what, what's your favorite music, we both said Eddie Vedder. And we both said, literally at the same time, Into the Wild soundtrack, which was so random, but so specific and so random. And there's a song in there um, that talks about, the, the verse says, I'm going to rise up um, to find my direction magnetically. And I just love that because to me it's a testimony. That, that line to me says, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in life, like things just like happen and it comes to you like magnetically. And so I just loved, I loved that. And so we put that on our floor. It also could have a double meaning of like, hey, get up, it's ready to, you're like time to go for the day, rise up in the morning. Um, but just having a personal message in your bathroom, it doesn't have to be a permanent thing in the tile. It could be art displayed on the wall, but something that just makes you happy and speaks to who you are as a family member or, you know, single person, whatever. Something that makes you feel happy in your space. That is so important. So, y'all, to conclude, we have the barn doors, but you may not have a space in, the t in your space where you can actually get a double layout like this, but in our tiny home design, this... Mm. Double barn door situation was per was perfection because if we had someone living or a guest staying on that side, yes, I need that side. If we have someone staying over there, then we could close this side and it just made it like feel a little bit more that they had their own entrance from that unit, the living room unit, to go over here. Now it did make it funny because um, we were always like, it's okay, come into our bathroom. I mean, come into our bedroom to go to the bathroom. So if you have an opportunity in your space to add a barn door like this, it's a perfect solution for small space bathroom design. I hope you learned something, you guys. Bathroom design is so important in terms of ergonomics and aesthetics and finishes. You gotta have the whole package. I really feel like this bathroom nailed it and I'm proud of this design. I hope you learned something tonight. Come back next week for more content. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when we publish. You guys, thank you so much and have a great night. I will get close to your heartache If you want to open your door mm. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest